What's up, y'all? It's me, LSP. Good Thursday morning to you. Hope you had a great evening and a happy Valentine's Day. I'm going to leave that at that. All right, so let's move on. Let's move on. Today, I decided um, we're going to talk about worms in the eye. Yeah, a lady. A lady got worms in her eye. Um, yesterday, I had to wear my glasses. I can even tell y'all about this story. I take my contacts out. I can feel my contacts. No, she didn't get the worms in her eyes from contacts. But I could just feel my contacts. So anyway, the lady was from Oregon. Okay. And she went out on a fishing boat. You know, you ever been on a shrimping boat? No, but I've been on a real big boat before. <laughs> Love me some Forrest Gump. No, so <laughs> she was out on a shrimping boat. Not a shrimping boat fishing boat. She out on the fishing boat and she goes to the bathroom because she feels something irritating in her eye. And so she she pulled her lid down, you know, thinking it was an eyelash. <laughs> and she pulls out this, or did it say, was it four? It was long. It was a long. She pulls it out and then she said it lived for four seconds on her finger. So she runs, she runs to her, oh my gosh, I thought I was going to be able to handle this. She runs to her bunkmate. She's like, girl, girl, I have pulled, I have pulled a worm out of my eye. And the girl's like, what? So that wasn't it. She then went on to pull 14 more worms out of her eye, right? So she goes home to Oregon. And she goes to the doctor, and of course, you know how things happen. Shonda Rhimes did something like this on Grey's. If you're a Grey's Anatomy's watcher, remember when that worm would come out of the, the nose and then go back in? It was something like this, but this was in the girl's eyelids, and it wasn't going in and out. But anyway, I forgot about that. So yeah, um, she goes to the doctor. Of course, the worms will show themselves. After 30 minutes being at the doctor, she pulls it down, and... While the doctor sees it, but the doctors are like, we don't know what this is. We we have no idea. Turns out, it was the eleventh case in the history of the CDC of a human getting this 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 eye worm, and it was a parasitic worm. And no, she did not get it on the boat. This is really gross. So the, the worms were in her eyes, okay, when she got on the boat because she got the worms from a cow. It was a cow, a uh, face fly. She says she doesn't remember a fly landing in her face. I mean, how often do you be like, oh, yeah, I remember that time that fly. I mean, in the summertime, you know, flies just land and, you know, you just swat them off. So, yeah, she got it from Oregon. It wasn't even from the shipping boat, but um, the fishing boat. Oh my gosh, it was just so, mm, that was gross. It made me think, oh, and the grossest, the grossest part of this whole story, and this lady had such great perseverance in her demeanor, and she wouldn't allow herself to go to the dark place. I would have had to have been sedated. The moment they found it, put me in a medically induced coma, ask anybody who knows me, because at one point, after a while, she could see the worms. She could see them in her eyes. She could see them crawling and all this stuff. She could feel them. Look at this. See, I got bags under my eyes. Oh, boy. I can't talk about it anymore. So, yeah. Um, they did not give her anti-parasitic, which is what you would give to the, to the livestock that gets this. Because they didn't want... They did not want the worms to die in her eye and cause scar tissue. And then, you know, she had permanent bags of worm carcasses or whatever so anyway y'all that's it that's the story i found today how gross is that but i mean i tell you that because she did not allow herself to go to the dark place and today is a day that i really need to remember that the dark place is no fun it's no fun and i'm not going there so i'm gonna try <laughs> if i do I do, but I'm going to get myself out. But anyway, y'all, I'm not going into that. I hope you have a wonderful, wonderful day. Take care of yourselves. As always, no fear and no regrets. I'll see you tomorrow.